So this is the first value here that exceeds that exceeds sigma f over two. Okay. So now, so now we know what L of m is. L of m is the lower bound of the median class. Okay. C of m is the width of the median class mm -hmm. uh, I'll just move this page okay I'll just move this here okay uh, small f of m is the actual frequency of the median class okay capital F of M, well capital F of M would be the cumulative frequency of the median class, but we need the one before it, so it's the cumulative frequency of the class before or prior to the median class. Don't forget we have just identified the median class using the sigma f over 2 key uh, the median class is 44 to 57 because the first cumulative frequency to exceed sigma f over 2 is this 40 so we have 44 to 57 is the median class so l of m is the lower bound of the median class so l of m is 44 c of m is the width of the median class and we know that our class widths are 13. So the width of the median class in this situation is 13. Small f of m is the actual frequency of the median class. So small f of m is, well, here's the median class. Its small f is 14. Capital F of m minus 1 is the cumulative frequency of the class prior to the median class. Well, 40 is the cumulative frequency of the median class. So, 26 is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. Okay, so let's just write down all of our values. So, we have L of M is the lower bound of the median class, which is 44. We have C of M is the width of the median class, which is 13. We have small f of M is the actual frequency of the median class which is 14 and we have capital F of M minus 1 is the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class which is 26 okay so now that we have all of our values we can substitute them into our formula for our median okay so once again the median formula is for the median formula is m subscript of e is equal to l of m plus sigma f over 2 minus capital f of m minus 1 divided by small f of m times c of m okay so we end up with the median is equal to l of m is 44 plus we have sigma f over 2 we've already calculated sigma f over 2 to be sigma f divided by 2 which is 26 so that's 26 minus capital F of M minus 1, which happens to be 26 also, divided by small f of M, which is 14, times, okay, well, it's times C of M, which is the class width, which is 13, okay? And what we can actually see is that this factor here is going to be 0. This is just an unusual case. The reason why this has happened is because our sigma F over 2, which is 26, actually is one of our cumulative frequencies okay so let's not worry about this it's just it's probably good to see this happen here in this particular instance it won't always be the same here okay more than likely sigma f over 2 will be less than uh, sorry will be greater than uh, capital f of m minus 1 Okay, so in this situation here we end up with, well, this is 26 minus 26 is 0. 0 divided by 14 is 0. 0 times 13 is 0. So we simply end up with 44 plus 0, which is equal to 44.
Okay. So the median for this group frequency distribution is 44. Okay, guys, uh, my name is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Office at the National College of Ireland, and I hope that was helpful. Okay, thank you.